The Craig Portable Crosscut helps you make perfect 90 degree and 45 degree cuts across boards using your circular saw. Now you can get professional quality results anywhere you need to cut quickly and easily using Craig Guided Cutting. The Portable Crosscut guides the edge of your saw base perfectly straight, but it does much more. The Portable Crosscut's capabilities start with retractable cut line indicators that position the guide precisely, so you know exactly where your saw blade will cut. The indicators easily adjust to match your saw, so all you have to do is align the indicator with your cut line, and you know the Portable Crosscut is perfectly positioned to cut at that exact location. Release the spring-loaded lever to retract the indicator out of the way, and you're ready to cut, whether at 90 degrees or 45 degrees. The portable crosscut stays just where you want it too, thanks to GripMax anti-slip material that keeps a firm grip on the board. Because keeping the blade aligned as you start the cut can be challenging, especially when cutting at 45 degrees, the portable crosscut also features a saw support ledge that keeps your saw base stable at the beginning of the cut. You can cut boards up to eight inches wide with the portable crosscut, and it works with just about any circular saw, whether the blade is on the left or the right side of the saw. The portable crosscut is designed to deliver guided cuts that exceed your expectations for accuracy, and it's built to last with impact-resistant polymer construction. Because the portable crosscut is from Craig, you're also getting more than just a tool. You're getting a company committed to helping you achieve cutting results and project results that exceed your expectations through the simplicity and certainty of guided cutting. Plus, the portable crosscut is backed by Craig, so you get a complete line of tools, accessories, support, plans, and educational information you need to succeed. To learn more about the portable crosscut, as well as Craig's other products for building DIY and woodworking projects, visit us online at craigtool.com. Hi, I'm Johnny, and this is my brother Matt, and we're from Brothers Make. And today we're going to be looking at the Triton T6 pocket hole jig with speed drive. Right, so let's take a look what's in the box. So, straight up, first thing you're going to see is you've got your manual, you've got the accessories kit, you've got a box here which is going to contain all of the bits and pieces for the stops and the dust extraction hose and stuff like that. You've got your two support arms, and you've got the main T6 body itself. Okay, so in this little box you've got a number of different things which are going to help you set up your jig. First thing is going to be this tool work stop. For the other side you've got a short work stop. You've got two support feet here which is going to help you extend the support arm bars on either side. You've got a dust extraction adapter, and the last thing is you've got an imperial measurement guide in case you want to change the metric one on the T6 body. Right, so looking into the accessories kit, you have got your pocket hole drill bit with the speed drive feature, you've got your square drill bit, your collar, your hex key, you've got some wooden plugs and your pocket hole screws. Okay, so the T6 is primarily suited to any project where you're doing a large number of pocket holes or you're doing repeated holes one after the other. The speed drive technology allows you to leave the drill and the drill bit in place so you save a lot of time without having to remove the drill and drill bit over and over again. The first thing we want to adjust is this depth adjuster here. Now this one has scales on both the left and the right in metric and imperial and we slide that down until it gets to the right height. In our case, that's 12 to 18 millimeters. The next thing you want to do is take your pocket hole drill bit and you want to adjust that so that the collar is in the right place. On the back of the jig here, you've got five different scales which tell you different adjustment points. In our case, we're going to use the 12 to 18 mil hole, adjust the collar down, and tighten that in place. Now I know that that is perfectly set for the material that we've got here. The next thing you want to do is you want to put your material into the clamp itself, and you want to tighten the back clamp adjuster just until it's snug, and then you can clamp that down in place. Okay, so now you're ready to start drilling some pocket holes. So what you want to do is chuck up your drill bit, insert it into the jig until you hear the click, and you're good to go. So as you can see, the drill bit is now locked in place. So all you have to do is unclamp your work, slide it along, 
reclamp it, and that's what makes the teeth so much quicker when you're doing repeat pocket holes. The support arms themselves have these handy one inch increments which can be used as a quick reference and also they are modular so with these extensions and an extra arm you can support those larger bits of wood. So the dust extraction adapter that comes with the T6 can be fitted to either side of the machine and this just allows you to connect your hose for nice clean pocket hole drilling. So as I mentioned earlier you've also got these handy little work stops and this makes it super easy if you're drilling multiple pieces of wood in the same place. The locking plate in the centre of the jig can be used to completely bypass the speed drive system if you wanted to use this just as a regular pocket hole jig. All you have to do is slide that little catch across. If you did pick up the T6 Master Set, then in that you'll get an additional screw pack which gives you loads of options to choose from. Welcome to today's Rockler demo. Today we're going to show you ways to elevate your woodworking in more ways than one. A workbench or work table is obviously a great place to work on projects, but it's often helpful to elevate your project off the surface. One of the best reasons to elevate your workpiece is to give you better access under the project to do things like position clamps. We've all probably used scrap lumber as a support, but there are risks that scrap lumber could scuff your workpiece and it can also slide or even tip over. And that's why we created the Bench Cookie. If you're not already familiar with these, you're gonna love them. It's one of those products, like clamps, that woodworkers always say you can never have too many. It's a three inch diameter by one inch tall support that looks like a hockey puck with no slip rubber pads on the top and bottom. The pads won't damage your workpiece and they're resistant to slipping. They lift, grip, and protect. But that's just the start for the small but mighty bench cookie. We've also got a long list of accessories for whatever type of project you're working on. Risers that thread into the bench cookie and let you double or even triple the height of your bench cookie. Finishing cones and bridges that snap on and minimize contact while finishing just about any size or shape workpiece. And sawhorse clips that allow you to mount your bench cookies to two by four sawhorses. If you want to take a closer look at the Bench Cookie Plus and its accessories, we've got a more thorough overview and we'll link to that video in this video's description. Which brings me to the latest addition to the Bench Cookie family. I guess you could call it the big brother to the Bench Cookie Plus. It's the Bench Cookie Connect. We like to call it the Monster Cookie. This four piece support works well as a large eight inch diameter circle, but it can also be reconfigured into other shapes. You can combine multiple Bench Cookie Connects to extend the length. And each quarter features a threaded insert just like the Bench Cookie Plus so they're compatible with all the Bench Cookie Plus accessories. All this talk of cookies is making me hungry. You know what? Let's make a fresh batch. Mmm, thank you. I hope this demo gave you some ideas about how bench cookies can elevate your woodworking. I'm Dan Carey from Rockler and Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching. Oh, cookie, 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 start with C.
The Exactor by Milescraft. Measure, mark, and level in any project with this feature-packed 9-in-1 multi-purpose tool. Transfer measurements with a double-sided scale in imperial or metric units. Use the depth gauge up to 5 inches. Lock in a 90-degree square to measure inside corners, outside corners, or scribe 90-degree angles. Two 45-degree angle slots will let you mark a right hand or left hand miter joint. Dual levels ensure perfectly vertical and horizontal builds. The 3 16 inch reveal allows quick door and window casing trim alignment. Set up a sliding T-square to copy and scribe with precision or remove the scale from the base to use it as a simple 6-inch ruler. The Exactor is a jam-packed tool with so many features, it will help you get the job done right on every project. Miles Craft. Always the better idea. Hey everybody, Kevin at Woodcraft here with the Wood River Vice Jaws. These are two different sets of jaws that can add some much needed functionality to your vise. They have magnets on the back so they can easily be attached to any steel jawed vise, or with a little help from our friend Double Stick Tape, they can be used with wooden vices as well. The prismatic aluminum face jaws are great for holding round or cylindrical objects, and the rubber face jaws are great for holding delicate or oddly shaped objects. To pick up a set of these for yourself, head over to your local Woodcraft store or online to woodcraft.com.